Okay. Now this we're going to show you, this is very much about using your body and holding off your marker. You'll hear us talking a lot about the pivot as we go through the weeks. The pivot man will often receive the ball with his back to guard, which is what George is going to do now. He's going to hold off his defender and keep hold of the ball using the bottom of his foot. Off you go, George. Really good. He's doing a great job. Now, you would have noticed already, George is very left footed. <laughs> so come back, George. Let's have another go at that. Let's try mixing this up. Might be that the defender's the other side of you and you need to use your right foot. So let's practice using our right foot or your weak foot, whatever that might be. For most of you, it's your left weak is going to be your left foot, but we're all different. Super job, George. Let's have another go at doing it. Really crucial that you keep moving the ball while shuffling backwards as if you're holding off your defender. Let's have another go, George. Very good. Those little movements. Don't expect you to get it as quick as this. George is moving very quickly, a lot quicker than an old coach like me will move. So as slow as you need to do it in order to get that speed up slowly, slowly. Good, George. Speed it up a tiny bit. And keep, can you see his right foot the whole time he's up on his toes? That's also really, really crucial. You've heard us say it a million times about when you're playing, to stay up on your toes. Move again, George. I'll tell you to stop before you smash yourself on the crossbar. <laughs> Good, good. Toes, toes, toes. Excellent. A few with your right foot. Much harder to do this on your weak foot, but it's just going to make you such a better all-round player. Very good. Very good. And when you're able to do that, the whole time in a game, players are going to be moving off you, and it's all about you waiting for them to be in the right place to lay it off and play that killer pass. Well done, George.